Sorry, I just haven't put my hand down from earlier. Sorry. Okay. Apologies. Got a question or just... No, lovely to see you, Johnny. Okay, okay. Hi, we'll come to you then, please. Thank you. Hi, Johnny. Hello, um, mate. Uh, your opposite, well, not direct opposite number, but the uh, Springbok number 11, Makazoli Mapimpi, has been scoring tries for fun. Uh, 19 tries, I think, in 24 tests, I don't know about there. Um, and, and he got two last week as well. What do you make of him? And I know you don't oppose him directly, but is he someone that you look out for on the pitch and, and you're going to try and get one over him? No, obviously what he's done, um, like you said, 19 tries in 24 tests. I didn't know that exactly, but I've seen and been aware that he's been scoring lots of tries. He, he's probably one of the best wingers in the world um, at the moment in form winger. Um, but what does that mean to me? Nothing different to any other week, really. I play against world-class wingers all the time. Um, respect them and understand their, their, their strengths and um, what they bring to the game. But ultimately, I'm focusing on myself every week. But um, no, hats off to him. He's playing some great rugby. Thank you. James Wilde will come to you, please. Thanks, Johnny. Um, I think it's fair to say um, you were disappointed not to get on the Lions tour. Um, we all know as well that you are a meticulous preparer for games like this. What have you been focusing on in terms of your prep and what points of difference do you think you're going to bring to this game? Uh, no, so um, main, mainly for me, it's, just, it's, it's, it's the same as any test match, but probably more heightened um, against South Africa in terms of the pressure you're put under. Um, you're aware of the physicality of this game is probably... A slightly uh, well, it is a step up from from other test matches you play, um, and the pressure that they put you under is in terms of how tight they want to make the game, <clears throat> puts you under more pressure than, than a lot of the other test matches you'll play. Um, each test match provides um, slightly different challenges, and for me, I just want to play play my part in a team, do my job as best as I can, and that includes the fundamentals of the game, which is the kick the kicking episode, the, the, the high ball. Um, challenge. They put a lot of high balls up, so um, I, I'm preparing for that. But it, it's, it's probably a bit more than, than most test matches. But but this is a big part of test match rugby: the air, um, the, the kicking episode, the air challenge, all of those things. But like I said, um, if, if, if I was to pinpoint the, the main threat that South Africa bring, it's, it's that increase in physicality and the pressure game they play. So it's, it's going to be a tough game. Is part of that mental prep really embracing the battle that you know is going to come ahead, actually embracing that aerial challenge? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I, I practice my highball stuff every week. Like I said, um, the fundamentals of, of test match rugby um, for a winger is your edge defence, <clears throat> um, your kick chase and your highball stuff. So it's things I practice every single week anyway. Um, but again, like I said, I'm aware that that's probably going to be um, tested more so, or, or it, I know it's coming this week, um, but in terms of how I prepared, no, no different to any other week, really. Um, I just want to be the best player I can be and do my job for the team. Thanks very much, mate. Thanks. Uh, Dan and Alex, do you want this for the live or for the writer briefing? Sorry, what was that? Uh, uh, writer's the please. Or writer's briefing. Writer's please, Catherine. Yeah. Nick oh, Mullins, then, please, we'll finish with you. Thanks, Catherine. Um, Johnny, just a quick one. Uh, Anthony Seabold, I think, was last week mentioning that you're one of the um, defensive leaders in the group at the moment. From a winger's point of view, what, is, what does that mean? I know you've just touched on it a little bit, but could you expand on your responsibilities as one of the leaders? Um, yeah, I think when, when you're on the edge of the line, you, you, I always see it as, yeah, you're a try scorer, but you're also a bit of a goalkeeper as well. You've got to defend your edge. That's your priority. That's your mindset. Um, you've probably got the best vision in terms of you're the widest, you've got the best pitcher. Um, and it, it, I think that wingers, wingers are defensive leaders in any team now. That's a responsibility and, and a string to your bow you've got to have. It's necessary for test match rugby, certainly. Um, you tell the boys exactly what you need inside them, whether to bring the line speed, whether to sit off a little bit, anticipate the kicks, read the body language of the nines and tens. Um, th there's a lot of things that people may be watching, not noticing what's going on. Um, but there's, there's a lot to be done off the ball, um, especially defensively as, as a winger in Test Match Rugby, the way the game is at the moment. <clears throat> when when 80,000 people are going bonkers, though, how easy is it to make those communication calls? Um, you can hear, you can hear your mates. Um, you'd be surprised. You can, you can. Um, it, sometimes it's challenging, um, but a lot of it is 
is just connecting with your teammates, whether that's Freddie at fullback or the opposite wing or, or Marcus or, or boys inside me, just a bit of eye contact or a hand gesture or something to get you guys connected and ready and, and understanding um, what's required of you. Um, so all that off the ball stuff um, is, 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 is <laughs> if, you, if you looked at a game 80 minutes, I might be touching the ball for less than 10 seconds maybe. So you're talking 79 minutes and 50 seconds of off the ball work. Um, and, and, and half of that, maybe even more, is defence. Great. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, Nick. Well, in the uh, live section there, could we um, ask the broadcasters either to leave a call or 